Okay, well, David Gordon Lyon was an amazing personality, and I feel I've come to, come to know him personally now from reading all of these diaries. He was very meticulous, very organized, and kept records of everything he did. And he was a, a towering figure, I think, really, on the Harvard landscape for many, many decades. He was born in Alabama. He was a Southern Baptist. I might say lapsed in a way because he became quite liberal and progressive. For example, when he got to Harvard, he was not comfortable with mandatory chapel services for the students. And you would think a Southern Baptist would be very comfortable with that sort of thing. But he came here in 1882. His original professor had come here, and so he followed in his footsteps. And his first job was as the Hollis Professor of Divinity. And that lasted from 1882 to 1910. And then when his professor, Crawford Toy, retired, he moved into that position, which was the Hancock Professor of Hebrew and other Oriental languages. So Lyon was uh, one of the first Assyriologists to hold such a post in the United States, might have been actually the first Assyriology position. He taught Biblical Hebrew, he taught Akkadian, and in those days it was called Assyrian, so you know the cuneiform language written with those wedge-like signs, Sumerian, Babylonian, Akkadian, all of these things. And his main interest was in promoting Semitic languages and Semitic cultures. And Semitic really is in the broadest sense of the word. So this isn't just ancient Jewish cultures, but it's Arab cultures, it's Semitic peoples all across the ancient Near East. And he picked up this feeling from studying in Berlin under a scholar named Friedrich Delich that you had something called the Semitic Seminar, which is studying languages, studying cultures, having access to objects, teaching from collections and things like this. And so building a community that was interested in the cultures from that part of the world. So when he came back to Harvard, he was interested in creating this kind of a community. And he was professor since 1882. And by 1889, he had caught the ear of uh, Jacob Schiff, businessman from New York City, got him interested in promoting Semitic cultures, and Schiff actually contributed the money to create this building that we're sitting in now, the Harvard Semitic Museum. So this building opened up in 1903, but actually the Semitic Museum as an institution began earlier in 1889. And across the street, the Peabody Museum directors were very kind and they offered a room to become the Semitic Museum Gallery. So that's where the collection began. So Lyon is significant on so many levels as a teacher, as an organizer, as a spiritual force on campus, and then as a promoter of Semitic languages and cultures, and then trying to build a collection to get this museum constructed and really make it a focus on campus for a part of the ancient world that he thought was so important for understanding where we were then and even where we are today, of course.